The former England captain speaks haltingly as if every well-chosen word requires careful extraction. It is what he doesn't say, though, that dismays Rebecca. It is almost 20 years since his former aide detonated a media frenzy like no other when she went public with details of their relationship. T didn't draw much of a response from Beckham at the time, so not for a second did she think he would address the subject, albeit obliquely, after so long. Yet attracting record-breaking viewing figures, Beckham's self-titled Netflix series tells the inside story of a global football star and cultural icon with no subject off the table, even the affair. But as Rebecca notes, Beckham isn't exactly put on the spot about it. Instead, he is simply asked how he dealt with the multiple tabloid stories it spawned, without referencing the liaison directly or admitting guilt, or indeed anything remotely inappropriate. Beckham, 48, says the stories were horrible and left him feeling sick every day. Rebecca, 47, shakes her head. It's all, poor me. He needs to take responsibility, she says, plating her fingers lest she might be tempted to punch the screen. He can say whatever he likes, of course, and I understand he has an image to preserve. But he is portraying himself as the victim and he's making me look like a liar, like I've made up these stories. He is indirectly suggesting that I'm the one who has made Victoria suffer. In truth, she would have rather he hadn't spoken at all about what was, for her, a life-changing episode. To her mind, it was buried. Long since happily married with two children, she has lived for the past 14 years in blissful obscurity in Norway where she teaches yoga and works as a medical assistant. It's not like England here, it's much less judgmental, she says. I used to get people coming up to me in waitros, right in my face, taking pictures of me with their mobile. Here people are cool about it. They don't care. Most of them say, well, I was with a married man once and I did this. It's like everyone has done something at some point. Not with married men as famous as Beckham, though. And few would have faced as much opprobrium as Rebecca, the privately educated Spanish-born diplomat's daughter dubbed a sleazy senorita and portrayed as sex-obsessed. She doubts whether society would judge a woman so harshly today. Now, because of the documentary, she has been dragged back into the limelight. And despite living in the mountains, she is not beyond harassment, though reflecting different times. It now takes a new form, vicious trolling on social media. Sitting in a quiet corner of a hotel in the center of Oslo, Rebecca watches Beckham expressing wonder at how he and Victoria got through the scandal and how he managed to drag himself to training with Real Madrid. He laments the intense pressure placed on their marriage. And so the tightly controlled film, made by his own production company, goes on, asking of Beckham no awkward questions but bathing him in a warm, sympathy-inducing glow.